hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a form in website and record the data into backend model so let's see how we can do that without using any code so if i say without using any code you will get doubt how we will add a form and how we will record the data into backend so don't get confused we are going to use a third party custom module available in the Odoo app store that is website form builder you can see in the screen this is the website form builder module that i am talking about and uh, it is contributed by Odoo community association for free in the Odoo app store so from Odoo app store you can download it for free so we will use this module for creating a website form in the Odoo website and record the data into backend model so let's see how we can do that so before going into the video if you haven't subscribed our channel yet it will suggest you to subscribe our channel and like the video if you have liked it so let's see how we can do that so i will go to the apps menu so i have already downloaded the module from the odo app store and i have put the module in my custom add-ons path and i have let's see from here so if i search form here and if i remove this existing filter you can see this is the module so i have already added it into my custom add-ons path and if i click on module info you can see this is the module from odo oca so i'll just install the module into the database so let's wait until the module get upgraded sorry module get installed so once after the module is installed what we have to do is that suppose in the website we are going to create a form of appointment so you know that we have already continuing the development of hospital management software and we have released many videos using this module so what we will do is that we have a appointments view form view here so what we will do is that we have to create a form in the website and record data to the appointments that is for like uh, suppose end users can visit website and they can book appointments from the website so let's see how we can do that you can know the only required field in this model is patient and you have registration not here etc so let's go to the website and add a form there so once before going into the website what you have to do is that you have to go settings activate the developer mode so the developer mode is activating for i'll show you just activate the developer mode settings technical database structure yes models and search for the model in which to which you have to record the data in the website that is right now i have to record data into the appointment model from the website so i have to search the corresponding model here that is appointment hospital dot appointment and just open the appointment and you can see it has to be ticked that is allowed to use in forms so it has to be enabled and you have to give a label for this action so i will give the label as create appointment create appointment so that's done and allowed to use in forms has to be given so once you've done this you can go website so i'll go to the website by clicking this and click on go website so i have clicked go to website option and from here you can see we have to create a new page in the website for suppose like home shop lab support contact us like that we will add a new page in the website for appointment so that you can easily that you can add easily using this website builder so for that you can click on this plus button that is new and from here you can see new page so i will add a new page for appointments so i'm adding a new page for the appointments so the page title is given add to menu is done and just click on continue so you can see a new page will get added okay the page has get already added then what we have to do is that we have to design the corresponding page so what we are going to do in this page is we have to add a form so if you scroll the screen you can see a widget snippet form so this is coming from the our customer module so what you have to do is that just drag this and put it inside your division so that's done form settings choose the form action so if you click on this drop down you can see create appointment which we have given as the label for the model so what we have done is we have settings technical database structure models and we have selected our model that is create appointment hospital dot appointment and we have tick the boolean field allowed to use in website forms and we have given the label as create appointment so just select the create appointment label then click on save button 
and then you can see automatically patient field has comes there that is the patient fields is the only required field in the corresponding model so that has been come by default so if you need to add more fields what you have to do is that just click on here then you can see customize option will come so just click on this button hide field set default value like that you can background image background color change action what i need is i want to add a existing form field from the model so just click on add model fields and once you click on add model fields all the fields in the corresponding model that is hospital.appointment model will be visible here from here you can choose which new field has to be added so i'll just choose registration node okay then click on save button then you can see registration node has been get added so that's all about how you can design the form so if you need to add more designs like website background image color font size etc you can just do it using the website builder option so i'm not going into that so we have a sample form here so that's done so i'll click on save button so the things has been done so let's see so before creating a record from here let's go to the back end that is i will go to the hospital menu again and from the hospital menu i will go to the appointments and you can see you have got four records right now hp001 hp002 3 and 4 so i'll just open the website in a new tab so that we can switch the screens easily so from here i will go to the website and you can see right now we have only total four records here so let's see what happens i'll go to the appointments and i'll choose the patient as tom fever for last three days okay i have given a sample registration note is given and the patient is tom so i'll just click on send button and once click on send you can see the form has been sent successfully so let's see what happens in the back end so if i reload the screen again you can see that total count of the records become five earlier when we have checked it was four so the newly created record that is we have created the appointment for the tom and you can see registration of fever for last three days which we have entered in the website form so you can see it has been automatically created a record in the back end so if i log out the system so currently you know the admin is logged in so i'll just close this tab and i log out so once you log out okay the page is not visible here so i'll just log in to the database again and i'll make the page i think the page is not published so i'll go to the website and go to website i'll just make the page available for the public so i'll go to the page manage pages so i have to appointments so not from here so i'll go to website just sorry not sorry when it comes to the website again that is i have to go to the page properties and from the page properties publish so i'll choose the appointments page and from the page properties you can see the page is not published yet so i'll just click on publish save it so we have published the page so that it will be available for the public users so i'll just log out the database right now so i have log out the database okay you can see appointments page is seen here so the public users can just come into this page and they can book appointment appoint for today at 8 pm just click on send um, test registration click on send okay i think the form has to be reloaded okay send and if i log in the screen so you so click on sign in button and enter the credentials and if you go to the appointments you can see you will have around seven eight records in the appointment so i'll go to hospital and if i go to the appointments you can see this is the record 
we have created right now from the website page so this is all about how you can record data from web page to backend without any code so just what you have to do is that download the module website form builder from Odo app store add it to your custom add-ons path restart the server update app list install this module so once you install this module you have to choose which model has to be displayed in the web form so as i have to create recording to the hospital.appointment model what i have done is i have go to settings technical database structure models and search for the model hospital.appointment and just tick the boolean field available in website and i have given a label for the action that is create appointment so once you've done this you can just come to the website and you can add this form to an existing page or a new page here i have added a new page and and into the new page i had the form and have shown how to done this so that's all about how you can record data from web page to backend so if you have any queries and if you have any suggestions we welcome those feedbacks and all you can comment out what you feel and please subscribe our channel and like our videos and don't forget to the press bell icon for notifications thank you